Hello and welcome to this Blueprint 2020 interview at Minotti. Today I'm talking to Nicholas Grimshaw about his Herman Miller factory from 1976. Welcome Nicholas Grimshaw. So can you tell me a little bit about the brief that was given to you by Max Dupree from Herman Miller? Some people refer to the brief as, as a poem. You know, we want the building to be eternally um, flexible. You know, we want people to feel natural light and we want pe people to walk, work together and understand what each other uh, we're doing. Now, uh, flexibility and adaptability were absolutely key to this project. Can you tell me about that? Well, of course, the first thing is to make it as flexible as you possibly can. So you can divide it up into areas where people were specially doing something or, or it can be swept away overnight. And uh, So we, we, we spent quite a lot of time on the geometry of, of, of the joints and the thing fitting together. This the idea of planning and circulation were absolutely critical because you could affect the whole layout of a, a scheme and, and you can lose maybe 30% of your workspaces if you, if you don't get the in, integration right. I mean the irony is these things don't happen overnight, you know, it, it took several years to uh, basically see the fact, well actually it is working, <laughs> you know. It, and that joint we thought was going to be absolute hell to, you know, engineer, has worked. And, and, and we've got a system that hangs together. In this project, as in earlier projects of yours, you use fiberglass. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I, I knew it from boats, but it turned out to be slightly different to uh, um, you know, using it outside and using it inside. I mean, it's a very mouldable um, material, and we, we probably had more experience than anybody else doing that. It was the beginning of a sort of flexible kind of design. I suppose you could say that it's the start of where, where Zaha started. You know, she wouldn't be anywhere without, without fiberglass, actually, to get for the curves. There's no other way of doing curves. I think people are much more ruthless now. You know, they, they want to find a formula and they want to find it fast and they want to start using it. Can you give me your reaction to the fact that your very flexible building has now a completely new life as part of a university? We adapted it and bolted things onto it and, and gradually allowed it to emerge from being a factory to being a university, which is quite a big change really. Everyone seems to be very happy about it at the moment. It's very interesting how psychology plays such a role. They think they accepted the fact that you, you could turn a factory building into into a university as a as a general view, but then all the things you had to do to it to make it work meant it got more and more compromised. You know, people sort of saying, "Why are we doing this? Why, why aren't we building it in Bath Stone?" and uh, all the rest of it, but leads you to the fact of uh, sustainability. It's much better to try and make what's what's there work than to try and reinvent the wheel. 